Hi, welcome to recitation. Last time in lecture, we graphed some trigonometric functions and some inverse trigonometric functions. And there was a slight error in one of the graphs that Professor Jarrison did. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about it and about what the, what the problem was and what the correction is. So the, the function in question is the arctangent or the inverse tangent. So I like to write arctan, uh, where Professor Jarrison usually writes tan to the minus one, but they just meet, they're two, just two different names for the same function. So the inverse function of tangent. Now I've got a, a graph set up here, and what I've graphed are the lines y equals x, that's this diagonal line, and the graph y equals tangent of x, um, so that's this curve, and here I've got one of the asymptotes of, of y equals tangent x at, at pi over two, right? So as x approaches pi over two from the right, tangent of x shoots off to infinity, getting closer and closer to this line. Uh, and sim you know, it does something similar down here. And then of course it's, it's a periodic function, so there are many copies of this. So one thing to notice about this is that the, the tangent comes in here, the, the graph y equals tan x comes in, and it is tangent to the line y equals x at the origin. So the slope of tan x is, is just its derivative. So we saw um, in an earlier recitation that d over dx of tan x is equal to secant squared of x. And so the derivative at 0 is secant squared of 0, which is 1 over 1 squared, which is just 1. So the slope is 1. And in fact, another a sl stronger thing is true, which is that for positive x, tangent of x is, is larger than x. So this falls away. So you can figure that out, for example, by looking at the difference and, and higher derivatives if you, if you wanted to. So the result of this is that the graph of the arctangent that is what you get when you reflect this graph across the line y equals x. And because of the way these graphs, uh, because of this property that this graph has, that it, that it lies above the line y equals x for, for positive x, when you reflect it, what you get is something that lies just below the line y equals x. When you, when you reflect this whole picture, that the piece, this piece gets reflected and is, co comes entirely on the other side of that line. So, so the, the height here will be pi over 2. That'll be the horizontal asymptote, and it'll come below, so this is y equals arctan x, so it'll come below that line. And similarly, over here, it'll come, it'll be the reflection, so it'll come above that line. And again, it has, a, it has an asymptote, horizontal asymptote at minus pi over 2. So the, the one feature I want to point out is specifically these two curves only intersect at the origin. So in the graph Professor Jarrison showed you, there was a, the, they, they looked more like square root of x and x squared, which have a, have a later intersection point. But here, for x bigger than 0, y equals tan x is always bigger than x, which is always bigger than y equals arc tan x. And then they come in, and right at the, at the origin, they're tangent to each other. They both have derivative 1 here. And, and then uh, for negative x, and then they cross. And so arc tan x is larger than x is larger than tan x when x is less than 0. So that was all I wanted to share with you, just this, this slightly cleaner picture of the arc tan of x that I get by being able to put it up on the board ahead of time. <laughs> so that's that.